guys, welcome to another video with Ed Trails for You. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make your own X widget clocks. So it is pretty hard, but it's also kind of simple once you get used to it and you have an idea what you want the clock to look like. So first of all, of course you need X widget running and you also need to download X widget. So after you have X widget and everything like that, you go to this bottom part in your um, laptop or whatever in your taskbar and you'll you're gonna see the X widget icon all you have to do is just right click and press create widget so after that something is about to pop up so you just gotta wait so this is going to be in the pop-up so I would just press blank and you can just name the clock so I'm just going to name the clock edit trails for you and um, so yeah you need to make a folder so just put a random folder name and you just press ok and so you're just going to get this blank I would suggest you maximize it and like make it big so your clock is easier to make so I would just delete the hello world so first of all we're going to add text so how are we going to add text so you're going to see this part and you just press it and you just double click the text and first of all you need to pick a good font with numbers so you can just put like now it's 1151 so I'll put 11 first and I'll make the size pretty big so the hard part is, is finding a good font that will actually look good with the numbers so you gotta spend some time doing this so after you pick the font you want to use I would just suggest you make the size really really big so I put the size like a hundred or something so after that we're gonna add another text in the components bar um, just double click the text again and then I would just make the colon and then I would make the size a hundred and then we do it like we choose the same font we used for our clock for the 11 so when you make it it doesn't have to be 11 I'm just like giving an example so just put it in the middle and then double click text again and just put any random number so now it's 57 and then I'll make the size a hundred we just make it bigger and everything like that and then move it to the right spot so after you're done with that you can change the color or anything you want or move it closer or do whatever you want um, so this is the complicated part you need a core so it'll work the time as it is so um, you're gonna go here below the components you're, you're going to see the cores so double click the date and time core after you've done that press the text number one and you go to binding core and then you select core and press this so you have to add tag this is pretty confusing so this is the hour tag so you're just gonna have to find um the hour so i would just press hour with zero so I would pick that one and then we're going to go here and then we're going to press date and time core and then we're going to press minute zero so you see it's the time I have right now so after you're done with that you can add even the date so so now if you want to add a date just add a text here and then just put randomly um, you don't have to do anything just go to binding core select core and then you find the tag that says date so you don't even have to type any text the binding core does it for you so what you have to do is just find the perfect font you like um, customize it move it wherever you want um, so yeah it doesn't really matter you can pick a nice font so sometimes the clock really depends on what type of font you have and then after that you can also add a PNG to make it look a bit cuter not that simple but um, I know I'm a pretty simple person I like very simple clocks just like this you can change the color or anything like that 
and you can just pick a font you like but I'm kind of satisfied with this font so I'm just going to stick with this so after that if you want to add a PNG or anything like that you go to components again and you double click the image and here you can see you can see a picture and you just press import and pick a PNG so just like that just import whatever PNG you like um, so you're gonna get it over here. So yeah, the wrap mode press image fit size. So you can just put it over here, anything like that. So um, yeah, just do whatever you want to it. You know, I'm not really that creative of a person. So yeah, I pretty suck at these. But this is basically how you do it. So after that, you just save it, and then you can package it if you want to like give it to other people. So, so you're gonna find it in your documents X widget and your package so this is how you give to other people if you package it that's how you give to other people so now if you want to test it just press run and we're going to see what happens so it is pretty small but basically it's supposed to be something like this so if you have a better font or better creativity like whoever made this clock um it's gonna look much better but this is basically the basic stuff you have to do um to make an x widget clock so after that just make sure you save changes and you're pretty much done so i hope this helped i know it's pretty complicated but i hope you guys will understand i'll try to explain more in the description below but thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next video bye